All right. Take two. I've deleted the other one by mistake. So here we are at the Morgan Center Garden, the adult program garden. I'm just showing you real quick how um, the leaves on our pumpkins. So we harvested all the seven pumpkins. They all found some homes, I'm hoping, and are being carved as we speak for the Halloween contest. Otherwise, these the plants can be taken out of the planter to make room for new plants for the winter. And our cucumber plant right here, lemon cucumber. See, there are no more cucumbers. Some greenish leaves and a few, a few flowers, but um, they're not going to produce any more. It's, it's uh, becoming cooler. The temperatures are dropping. It's fall. I'm wearing a long sleeve today. Woohoo! Even though it's kind of warm in the garden right now. Um, and the tomato plants might look healthy and green still, but the temperatures are too cool. So these tomatoes that are green are not going to, it's hard as a rock. I don't think anything's going to happen. So I'm going to at least, maybe I'll leave this little guy here, but I'll take out the big ones and make room for new plants and put them in the wheelbarrow right here. All right, and then I'm going to show you real quick the um, dahlias that are still flowering. Um, and I'm going to leave them. I'm not going to cut them because I think if I cut the dead ones, if I deadhead them, which means cut something that looks like this, dry and not um, and brown, and it's, you yeah, see how it fell off? If I cut them off with a scissors, I have to go get a scissor, but um, if I cut them off, it will make room for new growths, like this little guy right here. I don't know if you can see. It's a little bud. So, and there's some new buds here too. So there are still some dahlias popping out. So I'm gonna make room for those. So we're going to keep the dahlias in the planter for now, but we're going to remove the plants of this planter, the zucchini and the pumpkins, and that planter, all the huge tomato plants. Right by AP, hi AP. All right, um, it's a tough job, but somebody's gotta do it. I'm gonna do it, I think. All right, we're going to follow Brad, who's helping me to go put all the plants Hi guys. in the dumpster. Because I can't do that and film at the same time. It's just too complicated. So you guys get to take a little walk around the Morgan Center with me. Brad was wearing his Morgan Center shirt, the sea animals, ocean animals. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Follow me, guys. <laughs> All right. We're walking down the hallway past the OT room. Did you guys notice? There's the office. to go through these double doors. So I'm going to have to um, unlock the gate because we put the garbage out this morning. Uh-oh. I'll try not to tell everybody the combo. Wow, that passion fruit vine is growing, taking over the gate. Yeah. We're not going to be able to come back in. Here's the back of the Morgan Center, the classrooms. And Brad's going to open that gate for us. Do 
Do I need to help you with this? But it might be a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not helpful. I'm just filming here. All right, I'm going to put it all in the dumpster. That wasn't too bad. No. All right. Okay. Perfect. There we go. Close it. Carefully cleaning it. Many of you do this. All right, we're going to close the gate, lock it up so it's safe. All right, well, thank you, Brad, for helping us with the first load. And now I'm going to um, try attempt and taking out all these tomato plants that we talked about earlier. So. Um, I'm not sure what a good way is to, to where's a good place to start because there's a lot going on. There are a couple little tomatoes in here. Tiny little tomatoes. orange. Hmm. Maybe if I put them in a brown bag they'll ripen. It's possible. I'm going to give them to Brad, the cameraman. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Well, I've got a lot to do, so I'm going to keep on working on this. All right, now I'm officially hot and sweaty. Ah, oh, my hands are echo dirty. But I did it. I took care of, I have to go to film myself here. I don't know if you guys can see this. I picked, geez guys, you see this? It's so bright, it's hard for me to see. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. So I got rid of all the big tomato plants and they're all here. And what I've been doing is moving them to this planter. I'm going to show you something right here. This planter. Actually, I'm going to change the filming so you don't see me. Oh. <laughs> it's not easy to do things in the bright sun. All right. So here we go. I put all the leftover... Um, tomato plants and some tomatoes in here we're gonna make this a compost kind of so that maybe next year we have some tomatoes coming out all of their own okay so I'm gonna have to battle one more thing is the big plant right here this guy this this guy right here it is an impressive plant check out the roots Here's the plant that I was talking about. Check out the roots. Uh, it was a real battle to get it out of the ground. It's huge. That's a tomato. Look at that. I can put my, barely put my hand around it. It's so big. And the roots, look at those roots. They're huge and long. So that was not easy, but I did it. So now I'm going to put that one in the compost as well. And then I think for this week, I'm just gonna leave these two plants and the basil right here, cause it's still doing okay until I'm actually ready to plant um, our new plants for the fall and winter. 